Hey, Psych2Goers. Are you looking to impress your crush? Maybe you don't know where to begin. Maybe you're a bit new to flirting, or simply need some tips on how to stand out to the person you like. Well, here are six easy tips to impress your crush. Number one, use their vocabulary and repeat their phrases. People tend to like people who are similar to them. Science suggests your odds of someone liking you will increase if you use the same words they use. Also, if you pick up on their unique phrases, throw them in again at the end of your conversation or next meeting. It hints you are actively listening and it shows you care to learn about them by remembering some little things they said before. Number two, wear a floral fragrance. Need to make a good first impression? It's all about the scent. Well, it's not all about the scent, but it certainly helps for you to smell like a bouquet of flowers. You can also try your best to look sharp and, well, your best. When choosing a scent, research has found floral odors promote social interaction and the behavior to approach someone socially. Research from Rutgers University found that subjects used three times as many happiness-related words to write on life events when a floral scent was in the air in contrast to when there was no fragrance present. Number three, emotionally respond. Research has shown that one of the most alluring traits to bring out to impress your crush, especially during your first meeting, is that of emotional responsiveness. It's how you respond to the negative emotions that can set you apart from others. Many partners want to see that you show concern for their welfare. Do you react well in emotionally distressing times? If you make great eye contact, give pretty good advice, and comfort your partner for their benefit, they may just find that trait itself very attractive. In a 2012 study conducted by researchers Birnbaum and Rees, subjects discussed a negative experience with an unfamiliar participant of the opposite sex. They then rated the partner's responsiveness and their sexual desire for them. Researchers found that responsive partners were seen as more sexually desirable. This was especially true for subjects who were described as more comfortable with sexual intimacy. So, will you actively listen to your crush? How do you think they will respond? Number 4. Picture them already liking you. It's likely you've often imagined the worst case scenario when meeting someone new and exciting. It happens from time to time. Try to, instead, turn it around. If you imagine your date already likes you, you'll relax, gain a bit of confidence, reflect that positive energy and give off a good presence. You'll likely want to give out that great energy. So, if you're already anxious and worried, ruminating about what could go wrong, then that has the chance to give off negative energy. Instead, treat them like a familiar person who likes you, as long as you still keep it respectable. Just picture it. You're already good friends, or perhaps you just know you're bound to have a good date. Number five, work on your confidence and show it in your posture. Have you been working on your confidence? Confidence can be very important, and it doesn't hurt to work towards raising it through some self-love and positive thoughts. It's important to respect, value, and care for yourself in order to increase your confidence. Once you do, you should definitely show it. Practice good posture and a confident presence. Maintaining good eye contact has been known to help in first impressions. Think about why you desire someone. Maybe you know nothing about them, but they simply give off an attractive vibe. Because, looks aside, an attractive presence is everything. Reflect on how you present yourself, your behavior, your posture, and determine if it reflects who you are. If it does, Stay true to yourself and the person of your dreams will like you for who you are, good posture or not. But no, seriously, correct posture is healthy anyways. Number six, show your mystery side. How mysterious are you? Who doesn't love a good mystery drama? When someone possesses a trait of novelty, many can be drawn to them. How are you interesting and new? Spice up your life with new destinations, hobbies, and experiences. If you love being spontaneous, show them that side of you. Through your interesting activities and hobbies, you can show your partner the many sides of you without revealing everything about you at once. You can discover and reveal more about yourselves through your next fun dates, while also leaving the hint of mystery. What could be next? You'll also leave your crush pretty excited to get to know more about you. 
time for a second date. So, how will you impress your crush? Feel free to share in the comment section down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend, or maybe a crush. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.